Frankfurt, Paris, London. And um, so, and, and companies started to understand that. And I gave the examples of some American companies who came to Morocco, like Delphi. Delphi produces parts of uh, automobile parts uh, for uh, Ford, I think. And Beers also, it's the other big American company that produces automobile parts for uh, uh, General Motors. You have um, many other companies. You have Boeing producing in Morocco, cable bundles. You have EADS, Airbus is producing in Morocco and have design centers. And now, in the next future, we will have Renault Nissan uh, building a plant and they will produce 200,000 cars and then 400,000 cars to export to Europe. All this shows that Morocco is a very attractive business. And also, what I say is that Morocco is becoming more, the, the, the policy of the government is, is to make the country as business friendly as possible. To, you know, make business easy uh, for businessmen, for um, companies, uh, to get rid of all the hurdles that, you know, before existed for companies and business people who wanted to do business in the country. Today, we are trying, and the government is trying to make really the country attractive for business. And I explained that there are five, six sectors in Morocco that uh, where we think that Morocco can be very competitive and we, we're showing that Morocco is very competitive. One of the sectors is offshoring. Offshoring meaning call centers, uh, and I'm talking about call centers in French in, uh, and in Spanish. We have big companies in Morocco, banks, and the <coughs> it's call centers, it's back offices, it's accounting. Uh, basically what India did uh, with the, for the United States in English. We're doing it for the French company, for international companies uh, in French. We are, um, so that's the offshoring and it's working. And we have more and more companies coming into Morocco for their call centers and for their back offices. There are, of course, aerospace industry, as I said, we have Boeing, EADS, and everything that goes around aerospace industry. High tech. You know, it's fun. When I, when I came here six years ago, I looked at the trade between the United States and Morocco, and I thought that we were selling fruits, vegetables. Well, no. The, the, the biggest item that we're selling to the United States is our microchips. We have a big company, a European company called, international company called ST Microelectronics that have two plants in Morocco and they have 7,000 people working for them and they export a lot to the United States. So high tech is one of the fields that uh, where Morocco can be very competitive and now we are trying to uh, create some uh, uh, Technical, uh, technology centers, and it's working too. Of course, textiles. But textiles, you know, before we used to produce shirts and uh, t-shirts and this kind of things. And of course, today we cannot compete with China. We cannot compete with China. We cannot compete with Vietnam. So, textile industry today is just on time, meaning that you have company <coughs> in Europe uh, ordering uh, some items from Morocco, but in a very short time. And of course, design and fashion. This is where Morocco can become a real player in the textile industry. The other sector, is of course, agro industry. Morocco is like California. You know it very well. We have the same weather. We have the same conditions. We have the same problems. Problems of drought. Problems of flood. But we produce. We have quite an irrigated. Um, but we, we have irrigated what we could irrigate in Morocco and we produce fruits and, uh, thank you very much, we produce uh, fruits and, uh, and vegetables and we export a lot to, uh, uh, to, the, to Europe. Uh, the other sector which is very important in Morocco is tourism. Tourism is becoming, you know, we had two and a half million tourists five years ago, today we have 7.7 .7 million tourists and the goal is to have 10 million tourists by 2010. That's a lot of tourists. That means that there will be a lot of business opportunities in the country because 
you know, when you have tourists, you need to build hotels, you need to build uh, the, the, the construction industry uh, is booming. And uh, if you want to buy a house today in Morocco, it's much, you know, it, it's much more expensive than, than it was three years ago. So tourism is a, quite an industry and it's very, very important and that you have opportunities there. Now where, um, and if you go, I don't know if you have been to Morocco recently, but if you go to Morocco, you can feel that something is happening there. And, uh, but of course, the big challenge is what, uh, how you make, you know, last year we have had an economical growth of 8% which is very good. And if you put aside agriculture, we have had in the last five years something like 4.5 to 5 percent economical growth, which is very good. The big challenge is to make this economical growth and benefits of this economical growth trickle down to everybody, not remaining in the hands of the, the richest people, but trickle down to, you know, to the people living in difficult uh, situations in the areas, in, especially in the rural areas. And this is what the National uh, uh, Human Development Initiative launched by His Majesty the King uh, means is really reaching out to the poorest regions, to the poorest people in terms of education, in terms of uh, giving opportunities to these people that they never had. And that's a big challenge. You know the, that we have all kinds of challenges in our country. The situation is improving, it's much better, but still, you know what the challenges are education. Uh, giving access uh, to uh, the benefits of uh, the economic growth to everybody. And I think this is where His Majesty the King wants to lead the country. And this is very important and you can feel it. Now, is it going, are we going to succeed? Yes, we're going to succeed if everybody works for that. And when I say everybody, <coughs> I'm talking about Moroccans living in Morocco, but also the Moroccans living abroad. For us, I mean, our communities in uh, the broad are very important for the country because of what they're doing, because of the networks, because of everything. And, um, and especially the community in the United States. Many I've met, you know, you have Moroccans here in the United States everywhere, wherever I've been, even in Champaign, Illinois, which is a real far away place, I met with Moroccans. And that's interesting, and, uh, very successful Moroccans. And, we would like, and I would like as ambassador of His Majesty to, to the United States to see my efforts as ambassador, uh, I mean supported uh, by the Moroccan community where each one of the Moroccans are ambassadors of Morocco. And that's very important for us. Uh, it's very important for the country. Of course you are both. Some of you have been away for 30 years, 20, 20 years, 25 years, more. Well, each one of you is a, a, very, a, a, a real asset for, 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 for our country. Uh, I met with Moroccans who came in the early 70s, very, very successful. Well, what they are doing today for, for, for our country is unbelievable in terms of bringing, uh, for instance, I'm thinking about uh, people in Seattle. They are organizing sister cities with uh, uh, with Moroccan uh, with Moroccan cities are bringing they are putting together schools Moroccan schools with American schools all this to build a network between the two countries and it's absolutely the uh, key that the Moroccan community uh, works with us I mean it works with the embassy I consider that the Moroccan community and all, every Moroccan is an ambassador of, of, of our country it's very important as an ambassador, I cannot do everything. As the embassy, we are just here as civil servants. You are the Moroccans, and that's very important. And besides that, you, have, you are Moroccan Americans, which is also very important. You have, you have your links with, the, with the, our country, but you have also you have settled here in the United States, and you are part of the fabric of the United States uh, itself and the United States people. And that's key. You know, other communities in this country make themselves heard because they are important, because they organize themselves. But well, I would like, and we would like, and we are seeing that uh, the Moroccan community is, is, is organizing itself. And, um, and that's 
wonderful, fantastic. And Deshmi 